Hey folks, welcome back. This is Sean once again with the latest edition of Beer Snobby Goodness. Um, having concluded my random shelf pick series, I'm now going to start a brand new one. This will be uh, four bottles. I'm actually going overseas for this one. I've done them before. This is Fuller's Brewing Company. This is their Vintage Ale 2012. Um, purchased this at Beer Store Malvern about a month ago, and I'm just getting around to reviewing them now. They, uh, they only make about 25,000 of these um, per round. This one clocks in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. If I remember my research correctly, each year it's the same level of alcohol, just a slightly tweaked formula. So the bottle itself, fancy fancy. Also, it should be noted, individually numbered. And it does list the brewmaster on the uh, on the bottle, or rather on the box. John Keeling, I believe. Anyway, I uh, can use my trusty English pint glass for this, which going to the website is actually one of two appropriate configurations for this kind of beer, the other one being a snifter. Let's see. Well, it pours a little cloudy. Has an almost, I know it's not a barley wine, but it has an almost barley, line, barley wine like quality. Slightly lighter. Kind of a, I'd say moderate carbonation on the head, taking the aroma. Very sweet. Very sweet, multi character. I'm uh, definitely picking up a little bit of caramel. It has some earthy spice tones, which I have found to be fairly typical of English style beers. Yeah. I'm going to take the glasses off to read this one. Middle age, not for the timid. Uh, let's see. Bottle conditioned. Ah, here we go. They used a couple of different hop, hop varieties for this, including uh, Golding's Hops, as well as Sovereign and uh, Target Hops. Combined with a uh, yeast unique to Fuller's and organic barley grown by uh, Sir James Fuller. Well, already then. You know what, I can definitely smell the ingredients in the beer, so I'm gonna dive in. Cheers. Mm. Mm. A little boozy nip on the front end, but um, so far a pleasant flavor. I'm definitely picking up some of the uh, spice character. Definitely toffee as well. It's, um, as I said, definitely characteristics that you would um, associate with an English beer. So I'm, I'm definitely liking it so far. It was uh, it was money well spent and wasn't cheap. So I'll be back in a bit when the beer warms up a bit. They uh, they do tell you to serve at cellar temperature, and this actually came out of the fridge. So. I'll, uh, I'll let you know what I find at the end. Well, the, uh, the Brits definitely know what they're doing when it comes to a fine beer. The, um, the Fuller's here definitely finishes up with, um, with that nice earthy spice character that I talked about, that, that holds up throughout the drink. Um, and I'm definitely picking up a little bit of the oak as the beer warms, so, you know, quite good. I mean, there's even... I'm not sure if there was anything in the oak when it was aged, or if they even aged in the oak, but I can almost pick up a a very light whiskey note. So it um, 
in that regard, it reminds me almost of like uh, an innocent gun whiskey age. You know, overall, excellent beer, excellent flavor. You know, that, that one's top notch start to finish. So, once again, the, uh, the Fuller's Vintage Ale, 2012. I uh, picked this up at Beer Store Malvern, which I know is uh, not the cheapest venue with which to purchase things like this, but, you know, they have other things I can't find anywhere else. So as I've said before, it's a fair trade. So uh, they had it as of a couple of weeks ago. Might still be there. I'd say it's worth checking out. So until next time, this is Sean. Cheers.